Well, I've been waiting now for about five seconds and nothing seems to have changed, but I gotta be patient and uh, I do thank you for sticking with me all this time. And I predict a flight to Paris for only $50 with a date waiting for you at the other end. I predict nude bathing on all public beaches and pools within the next 10 years. This is academic talk, and this is how they're trying to describe tactility. Okay, I'm going to give you some sample academic quotes, philosophical quotes, about the strange situation we're in where there's nobody outside of yourself, and you have your own self, and yet everybody else is impressing in on you. Okay, here's the quote. The self-relation, see that's self-relation, the self-relation that characterizes sensibility is accomplished only as self-difference. An exteriority in the form of a divergence between touching and touched hands. Between touching hands and touched hands. In truth, neither of the two hands is strictly speaking, sensing, or sensed. Yeah, no, that's not why you're in here. I predict public okay, no, execution uh, will be shown on television. I mean, you're doing a good job. By your local okay, I have company. received... Read it again, read it again. In truth, neither the two hands is, strictly speaking, sensing or uh, sensed. So Nowhere can one isolate a moment of pure consciousness a or a moment of pure passivity. One must instead speak of an axis of equivalence, the possibility of changing roles, which is, be, which is dismembered by what it joins together. and Jessica... Corporeity, or fleshliness, you could say, corporeity corresponds to the moment of difference. Consciousness corresponds to the moment of reversibility, which is only the other side of the preceding moment. <laughs> what do you think of that, Evan? What the heck? <laughs> no, I was sort of following, and then I blanked out in the last few sentences. I was following <laughs> words, and as they leak into each other, and yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I all, all the names in the moon. Yes, yes. Can I hear those last four again? Hold it. Okay, read it. Read it one more time, Bob. The self-relation that characterizes sensibility is accomplished only as self-difference. The difference to what in relation to other people? Yes. Or in some other environments outside of the self? No, within yourself. Because it's about self-relation. Okay. self oh, okay. only accomplished as self-difference. That sounds really naughty. Yeah. And exteriority. So you think it's exterior. And exteriority in the form of a divergence between touching and touch hands. They're trying to describe the feeling of touch. Who's touching what when you put two hands together? In truth, neither of the two hands is strictly is strictly speaking sensing or sensed. You can't tell what's sensing and what's being sensed. Nowhere can one isolate a moment of pure consciousness or sensing or a moment of pure passivity. That would be being sensed. One must instead speak of an axis of equivalence, Let's see what happens. the possibility of changing roles, which is dismembered by what it joins together. That's a tough one, which is dismembered by what it joins together. So the very thing that looks to be joined together is at the same time dismembering. So then corporeity or fleshliness corresponds to the moment of difference, whereas consciousness corresponds to the moment of reversibility, which is, the only, which is only the other side of the preceding moment. Now, here's the, here's the follow-up sense. This relationship can be generalized, as we have seen, to the other senses. Every sensation, vision, or touch is in, a, in accordance with every other through this possibility of reversion. Such is the sense of the flesh, a unity that is realized only as possibility of passage, without principle between singular sensibilities. Now, to the degree that this carnal unity merges with the articulation of its difference, it cannot be understood as a closed unity. It also differs from itself. <laughs> well, that sounds like a conundrum. <laughs> <laughs> this verbally it is. They're trying to verbalize tactility, which is an interplay of nonverbal interaction, of, of kind of ESP. Touching and dismemberment at the same time. So, oh, yeah. so, so something that for one is reaching, uh, well, that sounds like, huh, so something that is, that is reaching to feel is also giving up of itself. Yes, it, to be known. That's very interesting. So, so this word that you guys are using, uh, reversibility, what, can you define what that means? I don't quite understand what, what that's all about. It, it's changing roles. It's you, 
first you work, uh, you're a pitcher, and then you become the catcher. Uh, if you're uh -huh. um, a Democrat, you become a Republican. If you're an actor, you become a director. So it's reversibility, flipping into oppositeness, sort of thing, or very different. Like a... Uh, so, so it's like a, a, a reversing a, bi a binary scale, a zero or a one. Yes. It, it, I like the phrase both and. The reversibility is not just one thing flipping back to the other side, like a yin-yang. It becomes a third factor, an and, A-N-D. It's extra. So it pushes it forward. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like, like I don't, I don't quite understand that. How does that work? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just read you some quotes from guys working on it for through most of the 20th century, and they're not making much progress because <laughs> it gets more complex as you try to explain it. But a good example of that is that I inspire the Church of Genius, and I do this every time I come on Eben. I make up a topic. I made up this guy named Dave Newfelt, and I had him come on and be Dave Newfelt, <laughs> and the interaction evoked this quote that then evoked you. This is instant Whoa. magic. That's tactile. But they were determined to That's fight back. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know Bob does it so effortlessly. <laughs> it will frighten you. It will shock you. Rated R.